All right, recording. Okay. This is the evidence on eight millimeter Kodachrome film shot on the 9th and 10th of June, 1965. Evidence that I killed James Bond. I killed James Bond. <laughs> you know, I can't believe that. Everybody's been trying to kill him, but I'm the guy that finally got him. So do not go to your neighborhood theater expecting to see James Bond in his glory. Because, unfortunately, I killed James Bond. <laughs> and I say that with teeth and mouth. No, that's tongue in cheek. <laughs> I had the privilege of appearing in a uh, Clark gasoline commercial on the 9th and 10th of June, 1965. And it featured the actual Aston Martin automobile that was driven by James Bond in Goldfinger and I think of another film. I was the bad guy and I was shooting a P-38 out of a, an automobile at this car and it was supposed to go over the cliff and roll over. Uh, unfortunately, it did not, but uh, apparently they, they got the film, they got the shot they wanted the next day. I never saw this commercial other than what I filmed uh, on, on 8mm film on that particular day. That was the first commercial I ever shot as an extra, and I got 35 bucks for the day. That was enough money to write home to get money. If you don't laugh at that, I understand. I will do anything for 35 bucks. And uh, I did, I did kill James Bond. No, I can't say that because uh, James Bond is coming out in another movie as another guy, as a matter of fact. So apparently, maybe I did kill James Bond because other people have been playing that role.